Operator, operator. I say operator. Can you hear me, operator? Oh, you can. Good. Would you tell the、uh, lovely two guys over at the whiskey vault that whiskey is not spelt with an e? Never ever, and I don't care where you're from. Okay. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. No no no. Uh uh. Mm mm mm. Never ever. You got that? I said, did you have that? Oh, you do. Well, thank you very much, Lee. Ah, the spelling of whiskey. So, we have whiskey, 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 whiskey. We have whiskey in Scotland. Whiskey is spelt W H I S K Y. That is the original and best way to spell whiskey. I'm not quite sure why the Irish added a B. And I believe y'all Americans do too. You know, on your bourbon whiskeys, there is an A there too. Am I right? So,、uh, but yeah, isn't it weird? These little spelling intricacies that we do. And why did you change it? Why? Why did it have to be changed? I don't understand. We had it. It's fine the way it is. No e required. Why make it longer? Was that to make it sound more whiskey than whiskey? I do not know. All I do know is I will not put an e in when I spell whiskey. Actually. Uh, okay, cut. Move on. So, I went for a pint or a couple of pints with my dad tonight, and we were talking about Irish whiskey. And the weird thing is that Irish whiskey always seems to be triple distilled. <clears throat> Why is that? Why is it always triple distilled? Because Scottish whiskey isn't. I think we do it twice. So either, well, there will be people that say it's because the Irish can't distill whiskey, right? But what I'm getting at is, does it matter? Is is there something in the process that 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 flavors it? So the the distillation process, if you can. If you can boil it down to two times, is there more flavour within that original brew than than there is when it's triple distilled? So do you lose anything? So we all know what happens in the distillation process, right? So you have this beer-like liquid. You heat it, and the water and alcohol. Evaporate at kind of different heats and different times,、right? and then it gets collected through these different little pipes and it's complicated little stuff that happens. So to have to do that three times, is there something that that happens or that, that something gets lost in that process? So perhaps the least amount of distillations you do, some kind of flavor remains. I don't know from that that. Beery type liquid that you that you first create to to create a whiskey. I know that、uh, from you know paying attention to branding and marketing that、uh, vodka quite often describes itself. I think it's Smirnoff、uh, describes itself as triple distilled, like it's something good. But I wonder if it is. 
I wonder if something is lost with every distillation. Uh, but it's just a clever marketing ploy to be like, this is better. So, uh, I think, obviously, the Scots have nailed it. I, I don't know why the Irish do it, or what the Irish are doing. They're doing it a different way. Uh, maybe they just want to do it a different way, I don't know. But the Japanese seem to have, you know, nailed a whiskey-like scotch, you know, like a Scottish malt. The Japanese are, are replicating that, and not just replicating, but, you know, making these award-winning whiskies, which they seem to be churning out. Um, but the Irish have never done that, right? So the Irish have been making whiskies for a long time, trying to do something. Well, are they? I don't know. Are they trying to do something like the Scots? Or maybe they're just doing their own thing. Maybe they are like, this is this is what we do, and that's it. I mean, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm definitely, definitely going to do a video on Irish whiskey because I've never, <laughs> I've never had a good one. Uh, I, I know that sounds pretty harsh, but I really haven't. Um, they're all a bit weird. I mean, you got you got Jameson, which is like drinkable and stuff, but it's like, um, like any any kind of Scotch or basic uh, grain, decent grain mixed whiskey is probably going to blow it out of the water, and. Any of these like triple distilled multi type ones that they put out, I had a cast strength one actually. My dad left me some of the, the bottle that, that he had, and it was just, God, it was just awful. Like, I mean, instead of like a, a proper cast strength whiskey uh, where you get all those nice smells and you know, you can. You can get all those nice flavours, you can maybe put a couple of drops of water in if you need to calm it down a bit. You can get all those lovely flavours. This Irish one was much more like just a, a pochine. You know, I know that's not how you say it in Ireland, I guess, but anyway, that's how I say it. So screw you guys, it tasted like fucking potato juice. Ho ho, potato juice. Ah well. You know, there's much to be said for a decent fucking pochine, I'm sure. But as I've only ever tried one in my life, and it was like a fucking pain stripper that nearly took the flesh off the inside of my throat. Um, that kind of put me off it a little bit. But, uh, you know, much respect to anybody that can drink that shit on a daily basis. For me, I'd much rather have a a nice whiskey than a than a bit of poaching. And again, apologies for the awful fucking Irish accent there. Ah, oh, fuck! I said fuck. Oh man, I'll be making a lot of squeaking whiskey noises on this video. I tell you.